Hello everyone, it's Constance. In this video, I'm going to take a look at what I love about being a YouTube creator, how I don't understand the algorithm, and what I could possibly do to start making some revenue off my channel. And I'm going to need some advice because I've looked at tips and tricks and I seem to be doing all those things. It's crazy. So let me give you a rundown of what my channel entails. My most popular video as of late is my In Memoriam for 2023. And it's no different than anything that I've done in the past. And I've been doing that for several years. However, this past year, this video has just caught on. And I know what to do for next year if, in fact, it's going to be as popular. And it's going to be a little bit weird because I've had a lot of comments of people I've left off and people I forgot. So, yeah. In Memoriam 2023, a big video for me. The Young and the Restless Fanatics. Now, um... These videos are either hit or miss. Uh, some generate views constantly, some don't. Um, I guess it depends on the popularity of the individual character that I spotlight. And there are ones that uh, hit most of all, and there are some that have garnered less than 20 views. So, I'm really torn on whether to continue with that line of videos. What do you all think? Learning the path. This is my dedication to my Wiccan practice and It has gotten a good number of views. There's one video that has generated over a hundred, I think. And I was hoping really to find a niche with that. And I, it just really hasn't happened. So, I'm not sure what I need to do if I need to show a little bit more of me in my practice, or explaining the practice, or whatnot. We'll have to see. Dissociative Identity Disorder and Mental Health. That is something that is very important to me. It's something I talk about regularly. It's something that I think needs to be discussed. I think it's something that too much of society has stigmatized as being labeled as people who are crazy, much like people who think people that are schizophrenic or crazy. Um, it's mental health. It's mental illness. And I do my best to help educate people by talking about my experiences. And some of my videos do get decent hits. Um, others don't. And I'm not sure how to broaden my, my spectrum in regard to that. Oh, 
small screen maniac. Oh, that is something that is entirely random and I <laughs> I've recently had an influx of videos for Small Screen Maniac due to X-Men 97 being on Disney Plus. Um, my greatest hit, however, is my coverage of um, Once More with Feeling from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And rightfully so, thankfully, it, it generated some good views. Um, nothing tremendous, but it, it was still pretty good, and I'm so glad to see that so many people enjoyed it. Last but not least is Toy Geek Maniac, and that is one of the staples of my channel. And it's all about action figures and reviewing action figures and studying them and collecting them and, and enjoying all the geekdom that comes along with having action figures. And my X-Men 97 line has probably garnered quite a few views. I think only one video has gone over 100. Um, I don't get much, much views at all, period, as far as any of my content goes. And... I work really, really hard on my channel, and I'm not sure if I'm just not understanding the algorithm, the content guidelines. Like I said before, I, I follow the scripts of other YouTubers who sit there and say, this is how you get blah 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 subscribers and I've done all that and I'm at 449 subscribers not even 500 and I'm at a point in my life where my mental health has been a huge struggle to maintain a job. And doing videos on YouTube is one of the only things that don't cause me to have mental health related issues. Um, granted, there are days I will go without posting a video due to mental health issues, but overall, everything that I talk about, everything that I post, I feel is relevant to my life, and maybe to the lives of somebody else out there. I guess it's just finding the right people. It's just knowing how to find them. So I don't know what the secret to the YouTube algorithm is. I would like to know, it would be great, it would be awesome if I could start making money off YouTube, just because I enjoy doing it so much, and, and I do think I have a voice. I do think I have a voice. It just needs to be heard. So with that being said, thank you for watching. 
hit like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love and light to you all.